Welcome, welcome, one and all. Winter Wizard here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I paint glowing things for Forge Phobos. For joining me today whoever you are and welcome to episode 4 in painting forge phobos the painting series where i'm going to be unveiling all the secrets all the tips and tricks for painting the color scheme for my adeptus mechanicus army forge phobos the cult of fear so the idea of this painting series is well uh, i do one for every army that i collect and i, I like to choose a model one uh, signature looking model, uh, something that's got a good representation of all the different aspects of the color scheme that you might find in the army and uh, I break this series into episodes covering a different, uh, covering a, a different aspect each time and, um, and if you watch the series from start to finish well you'll also get to see a really cool signature model painting from start to finish as well so we've got the Archmagos Belisarius Call here and he's a beautiful model and uh, we've done some painting on him already we've done all his bionics uh, that's all his, his limbs and megadendrites, armor plating, this, uh, this brass color plating here, piping and cables. Uh, we've done his robes, the Skitari robes in that nice gray. And uh, We've also done some vehicle armor. So he's got a nice mechanical arc claw here and a little bit on there and this little scarab, scaraby megadendrite armored thing down here. So we did that up in the same sort of gray style, but how I would paint vehicles. And in this episode, we're going to be looking at glowing things. What does that mean? Well, it means all the shiny stuff, basically. Um, plasma, radium, eye lenses, screens, anything like that, basically. Anything that glows or looks a bit shiny. We're going to be painting all of that today. It's cold and lonely here in Winter Wizard's Frozen Fortress, but it's, uh, it's a beautiful overcast day. I've got a nice cup of tea over there. And I'm joined, as always, by my friend and co-host, Norwegian Troll, Dimu. So... This is going to be nice, going to be nice and relaxed. I'm going to do a little bit of painting and um, we'll see what you think from there. So first of all, let me show you what paints we're going to need. Uh, we've got uh, lovely blue, Lothurn blue. It's a um, really nice colour that is. And we're going to be using a little bit of white, Gorax white. I'd, uh, strongly recommend that one, that's my favourite. Oh, and one other thing that we're going to use quite, quite, a, quite a lot of, that'll be a gloss varnish. Uh, Citadel, they do art coat. Um, I tend to buy the Vallejo varnishes in these little bottles. I'm always very happy with the with those, uh, and a gloss one just to get a bit of a sheen, a bit of a shine on some of these some of these parts. Um, well, that's it. That's all we need. Here we are. So we're zoomed in. We're going to get started here. We've got the Lothurn blue first. Give that a shake. Always give your paints a good shake. And if you can hear a clicking noise there, well, what I like to do. Buy these little ball bearings, stainless steel so they don't rust, and you pop one of those in your paint pots, and they just function as a mixing ball. They uh, really help to keep the paints nice and mixed. Really, really would recommend that. And a bit of blue tack just to keep the pot still. And I've got an old little plastic paint top, paint paintbrush top here, uh, which I just use just to poke in there and keep keep the paint keep the paint open. So I'm happy with the paint. We're all set up, ready to go here. I've got a nice little, um, just a layer base kind of brush. Um, this is actually a Citadel starter brush, believe it or not. My favourite brush, actually. And, um, and so what we're going to do, we're going to pick out all the glowing stuff. So the sort of, the main sort of power, power aspect of this uh, solar atomizer there. Uh, they've got these sort of orbs and glowing orby type things here. We'll paint those. Uh, whatever this thing is down here, I might get some paint in there. Uh, this megadendrite on the floor there, it's got like a nice round thing. I might actually paint that um, in this sort of radium plasma -y sort of power element. And obviously his eye lenses, any little bits of screens. So we'll start by picking some of these out. Start with a weapon here. I'm taking a little bit of this. There we go. Nice colour, this blue. It's got a good strong pigment. And again, with the silver, uh, the silver primer that we put on originally. This is going to go on very nicely. Silver seems to be a really good colour to uh, to prime with, especially for Admic. 
considering they feature quite a lot of metallics. Well, there we go, just get a nice smooth layer of paint on these, uh, on any bits that you want to turn, turn blue and glowing. There we go, I'm going to pick out some other bits. We'll do, uh, we'll do some of these little power things down here. Just going to paint the tops. Just giving those a nice smooth coat. Around the other side. Like so. So you've got bits like that. Uh, there's a... Uh, Nice eye lens on the top of that skull up there. Poke a bit of paint onto that. Like that. And uh, just drop down to a nice fine detail brush here just because. A little bit of the paint on there. A couple of these little screens like here. Here and here. So I'm going to just. I'm going to carefully poke a little bit of the blue in there. Like so. If you do make a mistake, you know, if you get it, always just go around and correct it. Don't stress. It's If the paint's nice and smooth, then it should just run off the brush when it makes contact. There we go. So, there's a couple of little bits just there. And we're going to just work our way around and pick out the rest of these decide what we want to paint blue and then we'll show you what we've done okay so we've done the blue and we've gone round and given it another little coat so a couple of thin coats just to build up a nice smooth strong color that should do nicely so I'll show you where we've gone we've done the um, like coil energy part of the, of the solar atomizer there we've done the, done these orbs up here the little coil there, uh, these orbs down here. Uh, this little wire at the back there, we've painted that in the blue. And this, the orb in the scarab there, done that. All the eye lenses on the uh, on the skulls and the uh, Belisarius himself. Put the blue into those little screens up there. And we've done. Oh yes, yeah, so you can see a very subtle, subtle sort of bluish effect in this, in the cane here. It's got like a coil, but I don't want it to. I don't want the whole of that coil to to be like an energy coil, just a bit coming through from in the middle, uh, from in between the coils. So I've taken the the fine layer brush, the real sharp point of a brush, and just just sort of teased a bit of blue into those between those coils. And that'll probably be enough on those bits actually. Oh, and this bit on the back here poked a bit of blue between the between the metal pieces there. Well, that's it. Just get a nice, smooth, strong, strong coat of of the blue, and then we'll move on. So we've got the Corax white here, and the way we're going to bring these glowing things to life is with a series of brightening up the colour. Basically, um, you start with a nice, strong start with a nice, strong, darkest blue there. Then what we're going to do? We're going to make a mix. Some blue on the palette here and some white and you're just toning that that down see the difference there don't want it, don't want it too different just a nice subtle sort of blend is the is the desired finish well, uh, so we've got some of this lighter shade of blue now so each of the different types of glowing thing will have its own different sort of way of painting it so for example this coil here what I'm gonna do is I'm not I'm just gonna paint this lighter shade of blue onto the raised coils themselves I'm not gonna go into the gaps I'm gonna touch a bit of that on there you don't want the paint to be too runny because it will run off into the into the into the gaps and the crevices and that's not what we want we're just trying to paint the uh, the top edge does that make sense you see that spin that round do the other side 
There we go. And what, and what, what? If you do poke, if you do get some paint dripped into the cracks, um, what you can do is just rinse the brush out so it's clean, dry it off. Just poke the bristles in there, try and soak up that bit of paint before it dries, just to pull that out. But uh, so with that blue, we're just painting the sort of, um, we're just painting the highest ridges. And something like these orbs. So we're just going, we're not going to repaint the whole thing, maybe about two thirds of it. In a nice sort of angled shape. Start at the top. Just give it a nice sort of smooth, smooth angle there. See how that's a bit of an angle. And paint all around that. A nice smooth rounded, rounded lighter section. The idea is you want to see the three different layers of colour. You see, so you see that's darker at the base, glowing at the top. And this little wire down here. Just gonna add just a little bit of this just onto the top of that. Not going right up to the to the very edge edges of it. Just a little on the top. And eye lenses. We'll do this one on the skull up here. Again, take your brighter colour, and we're just going to paint, again, maybe about two-thirds of it, or th we're going to aim for the, if you think of it as a, as a circle, we're going to aim for the sort of bottom right section of that circle. And just fill a little bit of this in, and smooth it round, like so. You can see that there's still the darker section on one side, the lighter section on another. We'll do that again. Belisarius in here. There's uh, the one on the top of his hood there. So we'll do that again. Half semicircle sort of shape on the bottom right side. we we'll do one more of those just to, to show you on the skull at the back here. Just like so. Just fill in a bit of that colour in. So you've got the darker area and the lighter area for a bit of a glow. Uh, these screens over here. Just going to dab a little bit of this in the bottom right corner. Like so. And the area on like the, between the coils of the cane, we don't really need to worry about that, I don't think. That'll be fine as it is. I'm going to show you this. I'll uh, show you the scarab down here. So with this, we want it to be more of a sort of glowing orb. So I'm going to so sort of just do it in the middle, like so, leaving the areas on the outside nice and dark. I'm sort of blotting it and scrubbing it and give it a sort of a, it's not quite a smooth even effect, more of like a crystal ball type thing. Well there we go, so I'm going to carry on, I'll add some of the, some of the lighter blue to all those different parts and then uh, I'll show you how we've gone. And there we go, so we've finished that. Um, like I said, so you see the nice lighter, lighter colour. On all the different bits. Scarab down there. The solar atomizer. And the orbs. These orbs at the back here. And there we go. So the next thing we're going to do is pretty much exactly the same as what we just did. But we're going to go lighter still. So we're going to take our blue again. A little bit of that. There's still some on the palette here. And our white again. And we're going to break that down to a nice, brighter shade than before. Sort of like closer, if the other one was closer to blue, this one should feel closer to white. And same principle as before. We're going to paint over those bits that we've done. But we're not going to quite do 
we're not going to paint quite as much. So for example on the weapon here, solar atomizer, we painted all over that coil. Now I want, I'm just going to paint same again but not quite as much. Stick closer to the middle of that coil with this blue. So the coil is dark in the gaps. You've got the sort of lighter blue on the length of the coil. And then this lighter still, just in the center of the coil. A little bit e either side. So you can see the difference in the color. Just lay that up, another layer to make it nice and strong. There we go. Again, this is subtle, but it's going to add to the nice overall effect. I'm going to do that around the other side. And the orbs, again, if then we had the main body of the orb, and then we painted about two-thirds of it in the nice smooth-topped lighter colour. I'm going to paint even less than that again. Just the very top. The shiniest bit. With that, that'll do. Do it like these ones down here. Just going to paint a nice smooth area just around the very sort of top sort of corner. So as you lighten up the colour, you're painting less and less area each time. Getting just to the sharpest point of the detail. A little wire down here. Just going to blob some of that in the center there. There we go. That'll do. The eye lenses. Let's drop down to my fine detail brush again. And if you think about that circle, we've now done about half and half, half dark, half sort of light. And with this really light color, we're just going to paint the very sort of bottom edge of that lighter area with this. Less area again. Just a little bit in the bottom corner of these screens, perhaps. With the, with the brightest colour, like so. And we've got this scarab on the bottom there. It's a nice orb. So we're just going to aim for the sort of aim for the centre of that, really. Just going to blot some of this. Nice and smoothly, like so. Like that. Just remove a little bit of that. Smudge it around. There we are. Well, there, so that's the general idea. You've got the darkest colour section, a bit of it off in one of the corners with a lighter shade, closer to blue, section off. A smaller area again closer to white and then we're going to add a, a highlight of pure white or near enough and that'll be it and you can sort of repeat that with any kind of color you like uh, orange green purple whatever if you're painting a circle perhaps and you color in the area in the darkest color and then round about this sort of area like so in a lighter shade and then a light shade again round about here and then a pure white maybe in the finest corner and we're also going to do a couple of little dots in a minute but you'll see that just try my best to explain this to you and yeah so I've just gone around and done the lighter highlight on all the different bits and we've got one more one more um, step to do that's going to be practically near enough pure white just going to mix a little bit of that blue in there just pretty much about as close as the white the blue is just going to take a little bit of that bold white color off of it just smooth it down a little bit and this is going to be your finest uh, the finest detail so for example on the solar atomizer just um, I'm going to aim directly for the center.
just blot a smooth line of this white down the middle like so and on these orbs do the one up top first just going to paint the real highest point of it just do a little blob of a little blob of that white like so do that on these ones down here just a blob highest point a little wire down here that we've done it's a real thin dot of white but when we get to the eye lenses what we're going to do a little bit of paint on the brush and we're going to apply a dot of this white in the top in the top highest corner on the darkest bits just like a little glean like so there we are and we've got the orb down here on the scarab just in the very centre of that little squiggle of this white like so and you can see the different dimensions there the uh you got the darkest bit when we first started and as it slowly moves into the white blue almost blue almost white white and that's it it's just about applying that technique in different ways in different structure to well the same structure the same the same order just applied in different styles depending on what kind of glowing thing it is really so I'm going to finish up here and then we need to apply a little gloss a little gloss varnish and then we're done there we are so we're going to get the gloss varnish out here Vallejo gloss just a little blob of that on the palette here and we're just going to apply that just a nice smooth layer of that over everything that that we've made glow and this is going to give it a nice shine a nice sheen and then sort of really make them come to life there we go and all those little bits that we've done wherever they are give these a nice smooth coat like up there, way around, and you'll see how how lovely and shiny they become. Works really well on like your coils and your orbs and stuff. Really nice. And there we go. So I'm gonna apply some gloss right on him. I'm gonna apply some gloss to all those bits, and then I'll give you a zoomed in look at the work we've done. And we'll wrap this video up from there. And there we are then, there's the glowing things all nice and finished and you can see they've got a bit of a sheen to them around here, a bit of a shine, uh, I think the gloss really does help just to make those details sing, there we are, very simple technique, two colours, your base colour and some white and moving up the layers, painting a little bit less of a section every time and just picking and choosing where you think it's going to look nice with it. But there we go then, and that's how we paint all the glowing things for um, Forge Phobos. And there we have it then, so that was episode 4 in Painting Forge Phobos, where in this episode we had a little look at how to paint all the various glowing things. If you haven't checked out the other episodes in the series, then I sincerely hope you might consider going and doing that, and uh, perhaps you'll also join us next time, where we'll be taking a look at how to paint uh, the various little patches of skin and how to do the skulls as well. If you have enjoyed the video today then a like and a comment would be very very much appreciated and if you'd like to see more of what goes on here inside the Frozen Fortress then perhaps you'll also consider becoming a subscriber. And once again whoever you are thank you very very much for joining me today. I'm Winter Wizard, that's Dimu, and for now keep it frosty.